only use one to two cores, do eight core CPUs still have more FPS, even though they have nearly the same clock as four to six core, a CPU from the same generation? So for example, is the 20, is the, sorry, is the 12700K worth $100 more than the 12600K for gaming only? Hmm. <laughs> well, if a game only uses one to two cores, uh, like a city skylines, um, sort of a, an older game, like maybe Starcraft two, for example, in those examples, then the only advantage, the 12, seven, so the Intel stuff's a bit funny because of the more cores slash more cash video that I did. So the 12, seven hundred K will always end up being a little bit faster when CPU limited to one to two cores. Well, not always because maybe you need more cores to take advantage of the larger L3 cache but could be because it has more L3 cache, like we see with the 5800X 3D, which that was faster in those examples. Yep. So the, the more, yeah. So basically, if we're breaking it down to just an argument of cores, so let's use Zen 3 because it's a way better example than Intel stuff because the level three cache capacity is adjusted depending on how much money you want to spend. But if we're talking about just cores and you're just playing that game and doing nothing else, then there's no advantage to having the higher core count parts. The other cores sit there idle. They're doing yep. nothing. The only time that would change is if those cores are being used. So uh, you're using them for video encoding or something like that, streaming. Yep. Yeah, I think that makes sense. It's really only the extra, either the extra frequency that you typically get with higher end parts mm -hmm. or the extra cash. Yep. So in, yeah, in the case of the 12600K versus the 12700K, the 12700K is definitely the fastest CPU for pretty well everything, uh, whether, whether it's single core performance or multi-core. Whether it's worth the $100 more, I think it was in this example, yeah, it, that'll come down to you. Um, in most, yeah, it's really hard to say. It, it, it entirely depends on the, the scenario, what type of games you'll be playing, what kind of frame rates you want, uh, the type of GPU you'll be using. You know, th there's a whole host of things there. So if you... Seeking maximum performance, like a Rainbow Six Siege title, medium quality things, you want to drive as many frames as possible, I'd get the 12700K. If it's more of a mid-range, sort of budget-conscious thing where you're not needing hundreds of FPS and maybe for <laughs> Tim's style of gameplay, which is, you know, you like Assassin's Creed type games yep. and all that sort of... You like a lot of games, but predominantly you find yourself playing a single player. And for you, the extra money would probably be a waste. 